What's going on YouTube? Sneaker at 891 back again. Um, so I'm just bouncing back from an ick outbreak uh, a couple weeks. So I've been fishless for about 21 days. So now I'm just trying to stock up. And uh, I want to use this video for like a real good thorough update on everything that I got. Fish, inverts, and corals. Um, so I'm a, I only got two big fish in here. So front and center, we got um, a magnificent fox face and a yellow tang. They've been getting a, getting along real well together. Um, I've never had a fox face before, and I've never seen this type of fox face ever in my life. So I picked him up, and uh, I love him so far. He uh, when he hides back there in the rocks and everything, he actually like changes colors to kind of blend in. He'll turn like almost all black. I love him and he uh he has a pretty cool relationship with my yellow tank he'll uh follow him everywhere and uh I don't know they they pretty much always side by side whenever I see him um after that let me see I got uh blue green chromies I got about six of them just to keep the tank lively so every time I walk up to the tank everything doesn't just hide I always got those guys swimming around and um I got two Two platinum perks this is the female she's hosting the the green bubble tip and the male she hasn't he hasn't joined her yet he's still kind of swimming around my overflow at the top of the tank and uh, other than that I just got inverts um, like three cleaner shrimp two coral banded and one fire shrimp um, my cleanup crew is just blue leg hermits and turbos and um, Noceros snails. Uh, so for coral, I have one mushroom. This is probably like the only mushroom I'm gonna ever have, just because of the coral or the color that it came in. I don't really like mushrooms or soft coral. Uh, this right here is a Garf bonsai, uh, purple green polyps, and uh, a bunch of Calerpa on the bottom there. This right here is a paradise, Monty, encrusting Monty, and I uh, love that thing. It's real small. Hopefully, it'll encrust real quick like the other ones. I just got them last week, and right next to them, it's a red chili pepper. That thing's been growing pretty quick. Um, losing a lot of green, though, um, and this one right here is a rose millipora, and right next to them is a blueberry acro. And uh, down here, it's a green staghorn doing good, and a sunset monopora. So orange with uh, green polyps, real bright too. I gotta put my hand over the tank, over the lights to get the color out of it. Um, so up top here, I have a purple green Marshall Island. It's like pretty much all purple and blue. Um, and over here is a Joe the Coral from ORA. Pretty cool coral, man. A lot of real bright green. Um, this is a Red Planet. And right next to him, it's a Tequila Sunrise. And down here, it's a Tricolor. I forget the name. It's a Monopora. And a Green Digitata. And... Uh, that's a nice little look at my little SPS garden. Uh, in the back there, that's a Jedi Mind Trick Monopore. It's already fully encrusted. And um, that's pretty much it for SPS. I got a few caps in the middle. Um, at the top there, it's a pink cap. And down there, it's a red cap. The red cap has been taking off the, you know, the best so far. It's been growing a lot. This whole bottom half is new, and then all the white tips there is new growth as well. So it's only been in there for three weeks, and the pink cap's still doing good too. It came in there after a uh, bunch of zoanthids kind of scattered around the tank, and here's a tyre green blue polyp monocap. It hasn't really taken off yet. Um, can't wait for that thing to take off. That's my favorite cap. Uh, glad I got that in my tank. And down here is my little Euphilia garden. Just torches and hammers. I don't really like frog spawn too much. Um, 
I don't know why, but I just don't really like them too much. Uh, this one right here I've had for the longest. This is an Aussie torch. Um, and I got a few frags of some uh, ORA Sprung Stunner. And I already sold them too. And I'll show you the mother colony soon. This is a gold Maxima Clam. It's closed up because I have my hand over the light. Um, and here is pretty cool. This whole little rock used to be covered in uh, GSP. And I fragged all of it off. I thought I had fragged all of it off. But that bounced back. And the rest of it was on these uh, Tonga branches here. I wanted them to cover them. And it's been doing a good job so far. It looks pretty cool. Especially when you're looking on the side of the tank. And uh, a little quick little tank shot. Got this. I had this tiny little orange plate. And it's, uh, I want to say it's like doubled in size so far. Um, love that thing. And a uh, little Paradise Chalice here. I'm not really having too much luck with chalices. I think my lights are too bright and they kind of just start fading out. Uh, got some more zoanthids up there. And uh, my bubble tip garden. Kind of went overboard with bubble tip anemones. Um, I might end up getting rid of a few, especially that big green one. And some more zoanthids. And this is the mother colony of that ORA Sprung Stunner Chalice. Uh, real big, growing fast, very fast actually. And um, a little chalice on the side there. And uh, I'm really getting into A cans now. So I got these two plugs here. Doing real good, eating real well. And I'm um, doing a little experiment trying to see if I can grow some acro on the sand bed. I'm hoping that these two pieces get a lot of color versus growth. I want to see if I can, you know, grow coral on the sand bed. That would definitely change a lot of things that I do in the future, I guess. And uh, this is where I'm hiding my little chalices that I'm trying to keep alive. Uh, I got them in the shade due to my light. Um, real high end piece here the Miami Hurricane Chalice got about five eyes on it this thing has been growing pretty quick um, it had three eyes now it's kind of like five it was like three and the two uh, that that are really pronounced it were kind of faded out and that's pretty much it I got a couple more zoanthids up here fire and ice some mean greens and uh that's the side shot right here. Uh, another acro piece here. That's a blue voodoo. And that's pretty much it, guys. Real simple. A lot of easy stuff. Not really hard. Um, down below. Uh, let me open this up. I got um, a 30 gallon refugium. Pretty simple there. A bunch of a bunch of macroalgae in there, and uh, I'm doing bio pellets, GFO, and carbon. Got them all in there. Keeping my water clean. So and that's pretty much it. So hopefully I have another update for you guys soon. Uh, stay tuned and. Uh, Hopefully the next update will be on my clowns. I'm breeding clowns right now too if you guys don't know. Uh, check out my last video. I showed you guys my uh, breeder tank and everything. So that's it. I'm out.